Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, you guys. Let's do some fall makeup. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Let's see what kind of look I can create. Um, I picked an eyeshadow out, and I've got these messy space buns going on that I just put in. I tried to do a space bun, but my hair is so thin, it don't like the space buns. So I'm going to have to like wrap it around and do something different with it. Like This one's like falling out more than this one, and it's like all whoppy jawed, and look at that. But it's up. It's up out of our way. Tune in, say hi. Hi, Holly. <laughs> and it, it's kind of crazy. Like, I just used the spin and curl on it, and I thought, I want something different. So I thought, well, let's try this. But my hair is so thin. Look at this. My hair is so thin, it won't handle it. But, anyways, we are going to do a full face tonight. We're going to um, do a little bit of makeup here. We're going to do some fall colors. Um, I will probably back, come back and do more fall colors before all fall is over with. Say that ten times fast. Um, some of them will look more glam than others. So if, it, if this look ends up being more glam than you like, Stay tuned. I do plan on trying to do a look that is more nudes and more natural looking makeup <laughs> because I do know I glam it up sometimes when I'm in here because that's just how I like it. Um, I like the full, full eyeshadow glam. I love that. So it's hard for me to like stop and tone it down when I'm doing my eyeshadow. But I do realize that not all of my customers want to go around town looking like that. So I am going to do another video um, with some fall colors. That's just a natural everyday nude look. But tonight we might glam it up a little bit. So let me, first of all, if you haven't sprinkled Go ahead and do so as well. I gotta find this video here. Oh, I'm in Twitter. I'm not gonna be able to sprinkle it from Twitter. So, let me get into Facebook. And we are gonna sprinkle this video over to my group so that my VIPs will know that I am here. If Facebook lets me. Come on, right there I am. And then we will get started. Have you ever done space buns before in your hair? Is your hair long enough, first of all, to do space buns? Have you ever done space buns? Share now to my group. You know, when I look at myself in the replays, I hate it when my head's tilted this way. I'm like, ew, you do not look good, girl, when your head is tilted to the side. Stay forward, stay forward. But I have to, like, go over here to share. So I am going to hurry up and share, then hurry up and come back and look straight. I don't like that. I don't like, there's my VIP group. Okay. All right, it is sprinkled over to my VIPs. So we hopefully will get some more visitors in here. I gotta, I gotta scoot this chair closer. So I'm gonna stand up and kind of get close, but I gotta like get this chair closer. But anyways, yeah, when I tilt my head to the side, I'm like, ooh, girl, ooh, ooh, like don't do that during your videos because that don't look right. Um, but anyways, you know how we pick ourselves apart and that's just one of my things. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like all this right here and just like anything. Anyways, I got to get on the weight loss journey. I have got to get on it. Like I've got to get serious because I've been trying and trying and I always fail, which you know, that happens. Um, but I've got to get more serious about it because I'm telling you, these fat rolls like sometimes cut my air off. 
I'm like sitting there like, oh Lord, I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. Like I got to, like I look good standing up. When I stand up, I look pretty, I look pretty decent. Like I don't like look like a model or anything, but I look pretty decent when I stand up. But when I sit down, whoo, like I have like, yeah, I'm just not even going to go into the details because it is not pleasant. It's not good. And I've got to get rid of that. And I know winter's coming. Like, I should have got rid of it for summer. But it didn't happen. So now my goal is to get rid of it. Even though winter's coming, I'm going to get rid of it. So I got to, like, watch what I eat, like, real bad. Like, I've been doing good. So this morning we had eggs, which, you know... I've tried the low carb thing and I always fail at that, but I always want to do it. I keep like, oh, I see all these people dropping all this weight with low carb and I'm like, I've got to do low carb. I've got to do low carb. I've got to do low carb. And the next thing you know, I'm eating potato chips. And it's like, crap. And then it's like, okay, I've got to do low carb. I got to do low carb. I got to do low carb. And the next thing you know, I'm eating spaghetti. And it's like, crap. <laughs> so it's like, all right, but you know, hey, you win some, you lose some, but we I've got to get in the winning. I've got to get in the winning market, so you might start seeing some posts with me working out or me, um, what I'm eating, because it's kind of like an accountability. Like, ooh, if I got to show people what I'm eating, <gasps> maybe it will help me stay good somewhat, hopefully. Um, so you might see, be seeing some more of those kind of posts because this is kind of, even though this is a beauty page, I kind of consider it a health and beauty page. But also beauty does start on the inside. Um, I keep getting all these little messages. Beauty, in my perspective, beauty starts on the inside and how we feel more so than what we look like. I mean, if you feel like crap, you're going to, you're 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 just gonna feel like crap your life if it's gonna feel like crap everything in the day will feel like crap if you feel like crap um so i want to feel better i want to feel good i want to feel like i can breathe again hey jenny hey um so that's what if you see a lot of posts about that that's what's going on with all that and you can join me if you want to like you can like we can like you know, chit chat and encourage each other, or you can also post in here what your goals are or whatever. I think I've got, I've dropped three pounds, but I've got to keep, you know, three pounds is nothing. Um, so we've got to like keep going and I get to get like 30 more pounds of this off. Like I was like a year ago. Now this one bun right here don't want, look at this. It don't want, it's just a ponytail now. It's just a ponytail. It's not a space bun anymore. But anyways, um, yes, like I've got to get it going. So let's get going with the makeup so everybody don't leave me. They're thinking, girl, this girl said something about fall makeup. She's in there talking about her fat. So we, we ain't all about that. All right, so let's get some moisturization on this face because first of all, I don't, or you, when you do your makeup, you don't want your primers and your foundation. Well, your primers, yes. Your foundation, you don't want it to sink down into your pores. You don't want it to sink down into your fine lines and wrinkles that you may have. You don't want it to look bumpy. You don't want it to, like, crepe and look dry and nasty. So the first thing you got to do is your skincare. You've got to put the moisture on your skincare so that your foundation lays on top of it and it doesn't go down into your pores. Um, so anyways, I should have like turned off these notifications. So the first thing I'm going to do is the a new Hydrofusion 1.5% Hyaluronic Acid. Hyaluronic Acid is an extreme moisturizer and it will lock in the moisturization like a hundred times, I think it said, more than just regular moisturizer so it has a locking capability to keep it sealed in there so that it lasts throughout the day and you know i know i'm doing it in the evening but we are going to get it on there i just squirted some on my hands you probably can't see it because it's clear but my hands might look wet 
that is the product and I'm just going to rub it on here. The thing about this product, it feels so great on your skin. It feels like a silk. And as you can see, I just like put some right there. And it sinks down into those pores really fast. Because I don't know about you, but I'm a girl on the go. And when I'm getting ready for work or I'm getting ready to leave and I want my makeup done before I leave, I ain't got time to sit around and wait for stuff to sink into my face. It's like, put it on, put the next thing on, put the next thing on. Like, I ain't got time to be sitting here like, okay, I got to give this five minutes to sink into my face. No. Like, like that is already sunk in. So, we're good to go with the next thing. But you do want to give your skincare time to sink in before your foundations. You do. You don't want them to be slippery on top. If, if you're using a product that doesn't sink in fast, you don't want it to sit on top. You want it to have time to sink into those pores. Because if, you, if it's laying on top, it's going to cause your foundation to move. And it's going to move in places you don't want it to. And it's going to move throughout the day. So, all right. So, enough said about that. <clears throat> Now, I am going to use my brand new skincare that I'm falling in love with. I wonder if I can fix this thing. Um, I'm falling in love with is the Isinox A New Ultimate. Um, this is a anti-aging. It's a I call it holy grail of skincare because it's, this kind of is a one shop and done. Like it does everything. It does like the fine lines and wrinkles. It's going to plump those out. It's going to tighten the skin. It's kind of like a collagen booster. It's going to like tighten skins, which, hey, let me bathe in this stuff because my skin needs tightened. Like if my skin was tight, you know, um, we wouldn't have to go see a dermatologist or a skin specialist or anything because we're going to use this right here. Um, it plumps the fine lines and wrinkles, which, you know, fine lines and wrinkles, your eye area is the number one place to start with for the fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it, you know, I have these here, which is, you know, where I laugh and where I go like that with my eyes. I have wrinkles. So when I have wrinkles there, I want those plumped out. Um, it also will help with skin tones. It will help. This is the eye serum one. We have others. We have the day serum. We have the night serum. This one particular is the eye serum. So it is going to focus on the eyes. And it's also going to help with bags. And it's also going to help with, you know, any um, dark circles. Um, everything around the eyes. It's going to tighten all that up. Get rid of the lines. So, enough said about the product. Let's get using it. So here we go. I'm just going to pump out a little bit of this right here. And we are going to put this like this. And we are going to put it around the eyes right here. And we are going to rub that in. See how glossy that looks? So we're going to rub that in around the eyes. I am going to put it up here. Because it has a tightening ability. And it can help with my hooded eyes. So I'm just going to... And when I do it, you want to lift up. Because these things already come down. Our goal is to get them up. So you don't want to like stretch it, but you want to like go up with your skincare. So you want to take it up right here. So we are going to put this on and we're going to just give this a few minutes to sink in before we lay any foundation or anything around that or on top of it. All right, so there's that. So while that's sinking in, I'm going to go on to my um, root touch-up to touch up kind of like these areas, which, you know, I could go like this. Like, it's not bad. It's just blonde hair, basically. Um, but I like it looking a little bit darker than that. So I'm going to pop the lid on this. This is a powder. It's like a talc powder, but it stays put. It will not run, so you don't have to worry about that. So we're just like going to darken that area up and make it look darker right there. Look, bam, 
I'm all collared up. If you have roots that are showing or skin, if you have um, fine hair or a place that's showing that you don't want it to show through, just tap this on there. Like right here. Look, tap, 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 tap till that's gone. Just tap that on there. I love our root touch up. This is in our Chi line. This is in light brown, the one that I'm using. We have other shades available in this um, to kind of try to match your hair. So I will slow down a little bit. Maybe I'm talking too fast. I don't know. <laughs> but let me take a drink. Now, let's go on. So we got to put the primer on. So we're gonna prime. I'm gonna see if I have anything left in this VDL packet. I don't know if I do, but let me see. I do have a little bit. Yay. So I have a little bit of the VDL left. This will, VDL gives you that excellent primer coverage as far as filling in fine lines, wrinkles, but it gives you that glow, that pearlescent glow that makes you look moisturized, hydrated. It's it's really a really nice glowy, you know, I know what I'm doing about makeup. <laughs> um, it just, it, I just love it. If you don't like to look glowy, you may not like the VDL. You may want to use one of our other primers. But I love the VDL and it making your skin look all glowy and luminescent, pearlescent. That's what you get from the VDL primer. It's kind of like a pearlescent glow on that. So there is that. So there's the primer. That's going to fill in the fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. And it's going to help our foundation to stay on top. So I'll put that to the side. Hello, you guys. Happy Friday evening. Are you, look, this space bun is already down and wiggling. This space bun is still up. I'm kind of crazy. I kind of remind myself of that. What was it? The Romper Room or whatever that sh show was many, many years ago with that girl that was a clown. And she had her hair up in a crazy mess. I don't know. I can't remember what she was. I can't remember. Look. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now I've done it. You know what? I got a thing here. I've got a thing here. I could probably fix it. I've got a little stretchy band here. Let's put this on top. Now this one's kind of down, but hey, it's up there. I'm not going for any looks on the messy buns. I just like put it up there just for fun and to get it out of my face for the video. All right, so let's go on with foundation. So tonight I'm going to use the Ink Lasting Foundation. It's a liquid foundation. My color is light medium. Yeah, let me check. Yep, light medium is the shade that I use. And I love this prime or this foundation because it's full coverage and it lasts all day. I can't believe the amount that I have left over at the end of the day when I go to take my makeup off. You may have seen me in other videos where I'm doing skincare and I'm removing my foundation and, and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all this foundation. Like 10 hours later after I put it on, there's still tons left. So we are going to use this one tonight. I do have the other primers that I will show you in other videos as well. From the stick foundation to the um, cashmere matte foundation. We have a foundation for you. And all the shades that we've got. And speaking of foundations, have you tried our new digital brochure? If you try the new digital brochure, you can set right there on your app, whether you're on your phone, your iPad, whatever you're using right now to watch me. You can click on our digital brochure 
and you can go to foundations and like this ink lasting foundation you can find it you can click on it and then you can go down and click on each shade and it will pop up on your um, camera as long as you're using a device that has a camera on it you can click on every shade and see what you would look like with that foundation on of course you want to be kind of like in good lighting you don't want to be in a dark room um, the better the lighting the more you're going to be able to see the exact match but it is a great tool to help you match your foundations or the brow any of our makeup products, the brow products, the lipstick, the eyeshadows, you can use that try on tool with all of it. And you know what? It's fun. If you've never seen yourself with a bright, bold red lips, go try it once and snap a, a screenshot of yourself and try it. It is kind of fun. It's really fun. All right, so there is the foundation. And if you see a little bit of glow right here, that is that primer shining through. And that is why I like the VDL primer. I like that. I like that glow that shines through. Again, if you don't, I would suggest using the cashmere foundation because it's truly matte. Um, but don't put the VDL primer underneath. Okay, so I am going to, let me see. What am I gonna do now? I, I was going to use a concealer if I can find one, hold on. Uh, I've got this one, but this one's dark. I want my light concealer. looking for my concealer <laughs> here I am I know I was down there trying to find my concealer sometimes I just like set this stuff in here and I forget where I set it I might have to use I know what I'll use since I don't see it right here I will use our stick foundation as a highlighter let me find the one I want to use though. Not light enough, not light enough. I'm trying to find a stick foundation that's light enough to use as a highlighter. Here we go. This is the Magic's Wand. It's a foundation, but I got it in a shade that's really light for my skin tone. And this is in Marshmallow. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that. So it is really light, really fair. I'm gonna use it like a highlighter. So I'm gonna put this up and we are gonna cover up with this. And see how it covers all this and when we blend it out, it is really nice. It blends real easy as well, just like the other concealers but it is a foundation. And notice I'm going up with that. You always wanna take your concealer up, and but you wanna bring it down kinda of like in a V right here so that it blends in. And we're gonna highlight right here. And we are gonna highlight, where are we gonna highlight? Let me look at my mirror. We are gonna highlight a little bit right here. And a little bit right here okay that's what we're gonna do for the highlight and we're gonna take the our blending bud and we're just going to tap that right into that foundation and blend it in yes we are we're blending this in 
So do you have any plans for the weekend holiday? Got any exciting plans going on? If you do, let me know. I love seeing what everybody else is doing. Plus it might give me an idea it's like, ooh, I wanna do that. Are you cooking out? Today was such a beautiful, beautiful day. Sunny and nice, but not too hot. At least it was here in Indiana. Let me know where you're tuning in from as well. I love seeing where all my videos go. Um, if you sprinkle them out, then they'll go to all, you know, your friends that may be everywhere. And I love seeing where everyone comes from or where everyone's from, I should say. So, all right, that is the highlighter we are going to, and that was the Magic's Wand found, Stick Foundation. I am going to go on with brows, and I do think I'm changing the color of the brow pomade that I use. Um, I did the try-on tool, and I seen one that is more closer to my natural shade of brows. This one is a little bit too dark, but I am going to use it for tonight anyways. But here's the brow pomade. It's real creamy. It comes with the own dual-ended applicator. You get the spoolie on one end, and you get this real nice angle um, liner brush on the other end. It comes with the brow pomade. And like I said, this one's a little bit dark for me. This was in black brown. There is one that is... I think it's brown gray or something like that and when I did the try on tool that is closer to my eye, eyebrow my natural eyebrows shade so I will be switching to that um, but for right now until I get that one in I'm going to use this one and it does darken it up and I just really 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 lightly touch this thing I tell you a little bit goes a long way with this stuff when you when I first got this I thought, oh my gosh, that's small. That's really small. But you know what? You don't hardly use any of it. I mean, you just lightly touch that and you've got almost enough. Um, so I am going, I'm actually going to take it and wipe some of it off that I just picked up to make sure I don't have too much on there at once. And I'm getting my mirror ready. And what I do, I mean, I have kind of bushy eyebrows, but I am going to fill in, basically. Now, you may be one that has very little eyebrow hair to start with, and you may have to draw more. Um, but I am going to come in in the front here and just flick it up a little bit like that so that it resembles hair and it looks more natural and just fill that in a little bit more and we are going to do light strokes all the way over and I'm going to come in on top and I'm kind of bringing this out here And let's see the other one. This brow pomade, I really do like it. Um, but I do, well, oh, look, way down in there. We're gonna have to fix that. And drawing it on there. Oh. I'm not doing so hot on this eye or this brow. Okay. So look, look at all the boo-boos I made. But I'm going to take a spoolie and I'm going to like flick it out. And then I'm going to brush this hair to make it look more natural. Okay, now I'm going to use this, but I'm see how it's got a tip to it? 
I'm going to use that to clean that up a little bit. Now I need to find my concealer. I do need to find it for my eyes and stuff. So let's see what I can do here. That's not it. That's not it. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm trying to find that stinking concealer. Stinking, stinking concealer. It doesn't love me right now. It's trying to hide. So, what I'm going to do, I'll find it as soon as I'm off of this live video. It'll be like, here I am. But anyways. Anywho. Okay. I don't know where he went. He might be on the floor. Alright, so, I am going to, don't know, sometimes my cats like to get up here and knock things over too, there goes some stuff that I just knocked over, alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in, I'm going to use, have to use that Magic's Wand again, yes I am I think. So I'm going to go back in with the Marshmallow Magic's Wand. And because I can't find my concealer right now, which is aggravating me. But anyways, I'm going to come in with the Magic's Wand. I'm going to use it like a concealer because it is a shade way lighter than what I need. I also could use a brush for this. Let's use a brush. Let me make sure it's clean. I'm using a angle brush. I'm going to tap into my stick foundation like so and get the product on there. And I'm going to use that like a concealer under my brows. So we're going to conceal those up and it also makes that area a little bit lighter. for our eye look. Isn't this fun? <laughs> uh, you guys, I love playing with makeup. I am always looking for ways to inspire, create, change, learn, If there is something you would love for me to show in a video, let me know. If you say, hey, I want, you, I want to see you do this or I want to see you do that, let me know. I'm always up for a challenge if it's something I haven't done. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to take our applicator. Make sure it's not got any dark brow product on it because we don't want dark here. And we're just going to tap that a little bit. And tap that a little bit. Make sure no brow product gets down in there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this on my eyes as a eye primer. So I'm putting quite a bit on this brush. And I'm going to put this on my eye lid. And use it like a primer.
there's one eye done. Now we're going to go into the other one. Like this. And we're just going to tap that on there. And we're going to blend it out. Happy Friday evening, everybody. Hope you guys had an amazing Friday. And I hope you get to enjoy the weekend with family, friends, whether you have a cookout or what you're doing. Okay, so there's the primer. Or the, actually, it's the Magic Swan Foundation on that eye, like a primer. And we are going to blend it down a little bit. I'm not seeing hardly any comments, so I'm not sure if, let me swipe, swipe, swipe. See if people are here. All right, you guys, so there is the Magic Wand used as a eye primer. Now, I think I'll go on to eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow look tonight, I chose Warm Sunrise Eye Quad that Avon has because it is some really nice colors for fall. Now we have some other palettes that are nice for fall as well, but I'll probably show those in other videos. Um, but here's what the warm sunrise looks like. As you can see, we've got our browns, our really pretty dark mauve, along with a little light tan color, some browns, mauves, tans, a little bit of carp coppery color. Those are all beautiful for fall. So, I'm going to start out with a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to tap into this, what we call a number two shade. Because Avon does number these um, with one, two, three. So I don't know if you see the number on there. Three and four. This is considered the number two shade. So we're going to take number two here, get it on the brush, tap it out, and we are going to put this in the crease. And we're just going to build everything up with these pretty fall colors. Move my mirror to where I need it. Look at that color. Isn't that a pretty color? Like you could just like use this alone. And it be a light fall shade. For work or whatever. So we're going to use this over here. I love this shade. It's such a pretty color. Now you can build the shade up as well. You can go in really light or you can build it up. It's just kind of some peachy goodness right there and you might hear my dogs in the background because they are right back behind this thing right here yawning and everything else I can hear them all right now typically I do the dark on the outer edge like a smoky eye and I love a good smoky eye I really do I am kind of thinking about doing something different tonight yeah I don't know because I am I'm obsessed with the smoky eye I am but I am thinking about 
laying these shades down a little bit different. Coming in with a flat brush. I do think I'll do a little bit different. I will try number three on my lid. Maybe. Maybe. No. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to put number three on the lid. Let's go. We're going to just tap it on there. The more you tap a shade, the bolder the color will be because you're actually like pushing it down on to your lid and you're not swiping it off. And of course, it depends on the pigment of the, the eyeshadow that you're using. This one I absolutely love. Look how pretty that is. Now I gotta fix the back of it, so give me a few minutes, but look how pretty that color is. Again, this palette is called Warm Sunrise and you can get everything that you're seeing tonight from my website, which I will put a link to my website when I'm done with this video. I came in kind of crazy with that one, but we will fix it. I need a new light for down here. I think I'm gonna get one eventually. Okay, I'm gonna come back to find my fluffy brush and I'm gonna come back in and fix back here. Just really blend that in together where they two touched. Now, typically I would do the darker shade on the outer edge and build it in for a smoky eye. But I am gonna try something else. I'm gonna try something new. I may not like it, I don't know. Because Smoky Eye is my absolute favorite. But this number four shade right here, typically I would take that on the outer edge and go on my lid. Um, but I think I'm just going to come right in the crease with it. And not build the outer corner, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I may end up building it anyways. So I'm going to lay it in here. I need a fluffier brush than that. Need a fluffier brush than that, but something small. Something like this brush. Let me clean it. We're gonna lay it in here, but move it. Isn't that so pretty? Like you can see that rust, that dark purplish mauve up into that peach. So just another way to really transform this palette into a different look. I'm touching that number two shade on this fluffy brush and just like making sure that peach shows up right there at the top. Coming in with the dark number four. Again, smaller brush into the crease to build it in there. Just really building the background. Coming out into a V on the edge.
because my eyes go down. I've noticed that with my eye applications. My eyes are so round that they go down on the outer edge. And that's why it took me forever to learn smoky, um, a wing, wing eyeliner. Because my eyes turned down. So, yeah, it was really weird to learn how to do the smoky, or the wing. I keep talking about smoky eyes. I want to build this shade up over here. Okay, and I'm gonna come in with my fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend everything. I always do that, blend, blend, blend. Make everything soft and blended. But now, 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 we need something better than that. I'm gonna come in and touch this really frosty white right here to really accent that light color at the underneath my brows. Okay, I gotta fix it, so give me a minute. Need my fluffy brush to fix and tone down. Make sure you don't dig into your eyebrow because you got that product in there if you did the eyebrows like I did. So now I am going to come in with a liner brush. Liner brush, liner brush. That has concealer on it. Okay, we're going to come in with that dark number four for underneath. So I've got it on a liner brush. And we're going to tap it in here. Building that collar underneath. And then blending it into the shade above. And over here. I don't know about you guys, but I think that copper collar really sets it off as far as a mauve or mauve fall look because it reminds me of the changing of the trees um if you wanted it bolder than that you come back in and tap into it again and just really lay it in there just really lay that copper color in there now we're gonna straighten all this out because look, see the mess I make when I do this? I always straighten it out. I just like run this down through there making this kind of like a line with my eyes. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let me see if I need to fix anything. I really love these colors. This again is the Warm Sunrise Palette. You can get it from my website. Now, let's play with some eyeliner and some mascara and jazz this up even more. Eyeliner. Mega effects probably, or let me see. Which one is this? Which one is this? Which one is this? I don't know. 
Always on Point is a really nice one as well. This is a pencil. I haven't used a pencil in a long time. Look, an actual pencil. I don't know that I want to use that tonight. Maybe, maybe, maybe in my waterline. Let me, I'll put that aside for right now. Let me see. This is always on point. Twist this puppy up. Okay, to twist the always on up, always on point, see these? You push down and it extracts the liner. So let me see. See if I can do this in the camera and where you guys can see. Let me hold my mirror up so you guys can see. I might have it extracted too much where it might break because this is real creamy. Real soft lead. It's kind of like the glimmer sticks as far as being really soft. I'm so used to using my Mega FX that I might have to go back over it with Mega FX. But this is really nice as well. I think I'll fix it with Mega Effects because I am so much better with Mega Effects. So let me get the lid on this. Mega, Mega Effects is the felt tip kind of liner. I love it. So much easier for me to use. And it feels wet when it goes on a little bit. So it, I don't know, it just really covers. And when it dries, it's there for the day. Unless you rub it off. I just really love it. Okay, so now. See that? I just really love this Mega FX. Okay, let's do some mascara and then I'll figure out if I'm going to put anything in the waterline. Mascara, we are going to use Love at First Lash Mascara. Waterproof. I love this mascara. It's my favorite. We also have this in blue and purple. And then the original formula. Um... Uh, as far as not waterproof, and then this one that is waterproof. I'm trying to like get everything situated where I want it. So I really love this product. This is what the wand looks like. We are going to put this on and really boost these lashes and extend them getting down at the root and coming up. Look at that. You see those lashes? This stuff is amazing. It really makes your lashes look full, but gives it length as well. So you get the volume and the length. Which I love. 
I love all of that. Let's put a little bit on the bottom to darken those lashes up there. And let me switch hands to do the other side or figure out what I'm doing here. So I'm coming in. Really coating those lashes to build them up. The inner lashes are always the shortest. On um, everybody I know, at least, I've not heard of anybody say their inner lashes are longer, naturally. And this left side, uh, my lashes are shorter naturally than um, my right side. Um, the always on point is what I started with on the liner. And then I went and grabbed the mega effects on top of it. I think I boogered up my eyes. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Right there. So, let me see if I can come on top. You can't, I don't know why the dogs are whining. I think they're talking in their sleep because they're back there snoring, but they're whining. I think they're dreaming. Mm -hmm. Abby, what's the matter with you? She didn't come here, so that's a good thing, I guess. All right, so there is that. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. With my crazy get up here, I'll be darn. I lose everything. I tell you what, I can't keep track of anything. Like, I've got organizers but I still can't keep track of it I can't keep track of nothing and it drives me insane it really really does ah, there's my concealer that I wanted earlier there's where that thing went Now, 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 we are going to, we are going to contour, bronze it up with a little bit of highlight and blush. I don't know, we might like glam this even up even more. Like you wouldn't have to, like this is pretty like nice looking, but I always could sparkle it up. You know me, I love, I love glam, but let's see, what the hey who. Now this is um, LA Colors, this is not Avon, this is LA Colors. I think I got this like at Dollar General or something. Something, she, you know, this wasn't real expensive. Let me find something to put this on with. We've got to play. Maybe I shouldn't, but, cause this looks pretty good like this. But, why not? It's Friday night. Who gives a flip, right? Who gives a flip? 
Okay, so I'm going to go in. I think I think either gold or this one would look the best. We're going to sparkle it up. Glitter it up. This is just a little bit of glitter. This more glitter. More glitter. Oh, excuse you. One of the dogs. I swear that was one of the dogs. Wasn't me. Glitter it up. No, it's not new. It's um, Avon's had it for a long time. It's just I, I love the Mega Effects, so I don't hardly ever use it. But I got it, and I thought, I need to use it. Look at there. I glammed it up. You know me, I'm always glamming. Or wanting to glam. I sparkled those puppies up. A little bit. Alright, now, let's bronze. And highlight and blush. And magic dust. So we're going to come in with our Colors of Love Sunkissed Bronzer. This is in Morning Sunflower. And I'm going to use this applicator instead of the one that they give me. Because I can, I can control this better than I can this. So I'm tapping into this and getting some color on here. Finding my cheekbone. And staying below, like right in here. So right in here, and right in here. I probably have to put more color right there, but let me blend this first. Marissa, do you like my shirt? Like my shirt? <laughs> I think you you might know where I got it. Okay, color this up right here. I'm thinking about getting um, some of Avon's fall fashion and kind of doing a fashion try on thing. I don't know though. It's like. How would I set, I'd have to set this up and go behind it and change, which I could do that, and then come back out. Okay, there is the bronzer. Probably a little bit up here, just to darken this up. Because I have such a long forehead, it seems like and it kind of just shortens that, shortens the space down if you have a long forehead or if you feel like you do. And we're gonna put a little bit of bronzer on the side of the nose. And we're gonna put a little bit of bronzer if I can get a hold of enough product right under here just see that just right there now we're gonna tap that in if you create that dark right there it creates that shade the illusion that your lips are fuller And then we're going to bronze this up. We're kind of like contouring, basically, what this is. Creating illusions with a darker shade. Okay. Now, we are going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. What is this? This is 
blush. This is in Sweet Pea. But what is this? What is this one? What is this one? Highlighter. Oh, shoot. I about dumped it. So we're going to blush it up a little bit. Ro put a little bit of rosy in my cheeks. And this is um, Sweet Pea. So we got a little bit on here. Find the apples of your cheeks and it kind of goes like right in here. Just rosy that up a little bit. And I'm glowing right there from that VDL primer. I love that VDL primer. Just kind of pushing that in and blending it down into that bronzer. But I want the majority of the color to be right here. And now I am going to highlight. That is the blush. Highlight. So, did I just put that in there? I might have. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna highlight. This one is Golden Lily. It's the cushion highlighter in Golden Lily. And I will put some on here. Ooh, I squeezed a little bit too much out, so I'm wiping a little bit. Look, I squeezed too much out. We are really gonna highlight if I don't get some of that off of there. Let's see, I got my blush here, so we just kind of like back here, down the nose, over here, up here. I know. I want more highlight than that. More. Give me more. I'm going to go. I'm going to refresh my memory on this highlighter that we have. This one here. Cushion highlight highlighter. I think I want this one. Can you see that on my finger? You probably can't see that on my finger. Just makes those lips glow at the top. So fun. I got my makeup rag. All right, so now lips and I'm done, I think. No, magic dust. But let's do the lips. Now let's do the magic dust. Let's do the magic dust. Let me find an applicator. So I have a box of these wedges like this. These are really nice to use. So I have the Magix Dust, which I should have showed you. Magix Dust. This is in translucent powder. Just gonna tap it in there, get some on. We're just gonna put it over here. This will set the makeup not let it transfer as much have you worn the mask and then found out all your foundation is in your mask when you pull it off set your uh, makeup with this translucent powder and you will not have as much um, foundation that will show up in your mask so we're just going to set this we're going to set this, set this, set this, set this. Just putting this powder everywhere to set it. Mm -hmm. I'm not like trying to move the foundation or move the bronzer around. I'm just like patting this powder on top. Okay. 
okay I know it's kind of crazy so what you can do is you can keep on tapping or you can come in with a big fluffy brush and you can whisk it away without smearing anything the best you can Now we need lips we need lips we need lips I have ordered some of the ombre lip products Look at my hair the ombre lip stuff I've ordered of the we have glimmer shadows coming out campaign 21 I think it is I ordered a few of those so we can see all of that fun 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 all right, now lips, and then we will be done. I think my dogs thought I was talking to them. I think they're ready to get out of here. Just a minute, give me a minute. Now, let's see, for fall, you wouldn't want a really bright pink lip for fall. That's kind of summery, too summery. Too summery. That's fine, fall would be darker. Darker, darker. What about this one? Wild cherry. Yes. Wild cherry. So, darker shades for fall. And I can't talk when I'm doing this. And I'm not, God, I'm not good at this. Now I gotta fix that. Man, I went out of the lines. I look like a clown. They say though, if you overdraw the line of your lip, it makes your lips look fuller. But when I do, I'm like, that don't look right. My top lips, I need to go get like lip injections or whatever it is for my top lips because they're so small at the top. It's like, yeah, I need to overdraw my top lips and then I don't know what for my bottom lips. You know, you could put those glitters on your lips, but I'm not going to, I don't think. That's Wild Cherry. I might see what surprise in our lip balm looks like. On it. Like an ombre a little bit. Uh, you can't see it real well, but it does lighten it a little bit. And I can't talk when I'm doing this. Just barely lightens it a little bit. Not enough to really draw attention to it. All right. There is my fall look for this evening. Me and my messy space buns that are falling down. Look at this. This one stayed up pretty good. And this one, this one needs some help. Look at this. Look at this. I gotta like, I gotta take this out, fix it before I snap any photos. You know me, I'll probably be snapping photos of this and posting it on our page. So thanks for tuning in, you guys. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome Friday evening. Hope you have an awesome weekend. Um, hopefully tomorrow will be as beautiful it was as today. And you can get out and enjoy some of the sunshine while we still have it. And come back in here and let me know what you're doing for the weekend. Don't forget to sprinkle to your friends. And I will see you guys on the next video.
Thanks.